What's up guys, I'm back. Today I am at Burr Oak State Park uh, in Eastern Ohio. I have a 25 mile loop. Uh, I'm gonna spend tonight, tomorrow night, drive out Sunday morning. Um, this is a little bit of a redemption trip from Shenandoah a few weeks ago. Uh, my brother and my friend kind of wimped out on me, so i am decided to just do this myself. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty excited. It's about 65 degrees out. Um, sunny, as you can tell. Should be a good time. Got a pretty flat trip this time. I think there's only about 300 feet of elevation around the whole loop, so stay tuned. All right, so I am currently here. This is Burr Oak Reservoir. <clears throat> so I actually parked up at the lodge up here, but walked my way down here. There's a ramp. The ramp is right over there. You can see that. And so right behind me is the backpacking trail, which goes all the way around the outside of the loop. Um, there's a campground here. It's the main campground. And then it actually falls all the way up to the northern edge, all the way around the outside. Um, several other docks. Working my way back to the lodge. So uh, my goal today is to hike this route all around here and camp somewhere by Burr Oak Cove Campground. This is in Wayne National Forest, so there's dispersed camping in this area. So that's my goal. It's about five miles. Shouldn't be too bad. S. Alright, not a great start, went the wrong direction, but that's the right trail. Alright, not even a tenth of a mile, got our first improvement, hold on, gotta make sure all right, no trolls under there, we're good. So I don't even think I'm like a half mile in yet, but it's already some pretty cool, I don't know if you can tell, big old rock overhang back there behind me. And then on this side, a decent view of the lake. The trail so far has been not bad, it's slightly overgrown, but <clears throat> easy to follow. There's blazes every 30 to 50 feet. Shouldn't be too bad, and it's mostly been just leaves on the ground. Not even that rocky, so pretty easy hike so far. Weather's perfect. The one thing that's not great is because I'm in the middle of September is the spider webs. They are crazy right now. 
already got like six to the face. So, but that's okay. All the trees, all the down trees have been cut so far. Haven't had to climb over anything. It's been a pretty relaxing hike. One bad thing is that there's something in my pack that's been bouncing around with every big step. So I'm gonna probably set my bag down, see what that is, maybe throw it into the lake. It's making a lot of noise. Just kidding, leave no trace. Alright guys, so I am officially at dock 2, sorry for the weird angle, the sun is limiting where I can take this video from, I'm blocking the sign with my shadow right now, so anyway, I'm at dock 2 right now, I started out at the lodge up here, it's been about an hour, so it's only about a mile and a half, so I guess I gotta move a little faster, take a lot of pictures and videos, so... I gotta get all the way up there. So I might buckle down here and get some mileage knocked out. So, still good though. So this is the Dock 2 campground. In case anyone's wondering, I kinda doubt that gets filled up too much. But it is right on the lake there, so it's a pretty good spot. I like it. I will not be staying there. They also have water. Good to know. No trolls here either. That's probably not good. <laughs> so I just walked up that bridge and I noticed there's blazes over there on that tree. You can't see them. But then there's also this trail here. I don't know if you can see that up and around. Well, I went to investigate the little side trail. And I think I happened upon a deer that I scared pretty bad. Because it just ran way up that hill in like two seconds. So, sorry Bambi. I'm there. Started out there. So I got... Currently, 2.6 miles, roughly. Well, actually more than that. I have to go up here and around to there somewhere. It's probably closer to three miles.
Well, my trail goes there. So, hmm. That's the winner. So the trail is back that way. And I saw this little side trail. And even though I don't really have that much time to waste, I figured I might come over here, see if it's a campground or something. And it is not. So I came from that direction. That's where the trail goes. That way. And the little graveyard followed that trail up. So I've reached the Tom Jenkins Dam spillway. So pretty wild. And you can't say I've ever seen one of these before. But that means the Tom Jenkins Dam is probably right up the corner there. Which means I'm pretty close to my campsite. So I'm currently walking across the Tom Jenkins Dam. <clears throat> and uh, the sun's still out up there. And I realized that at some point in the last five miles, <laughs> My sunglasses are laying on the ground. <laughs> so I'm there. That is the Tom Jenkins Dam. And I have to find somewhere around here to camp so off I go so I came from there and I think the trail goes that way I think my campground is up here let's find out I was not sure this was the right trail I just saw up ahead it's a white blaze it means I'm going towards something so it turns out I went all the way to Oak, Burr Oak Cove Campground, and it was full. <laughs> so there's a flat spot back here, a couple hundred feet. If I pick that out, right as the sun's going down. So perfect timing. All right, guys. So it is now 8:15. Uh, got my, as you can see, got my tent all set up, sleeping bag. Sleeping pad, pillow. Um, decided I didn't want to spend the time to make um, like boil water for my dinner, so I ended up just doing tortillas and peanut butter, and uh, ended up spilling peanut butter all over my leg. So that was good. Props to me. Um, but otherwise, not too bad of a night. Got pretty cold out pretty quick. Uh, yeah, you can't see it, but there's condensation <laughs> on my breath. Um, so I got my winter clothes on. I got my jacket over there. I got some extra socks if I need them. Fingers crossed I won't need them, but, you know, oh well. <clears throat> anyway, I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow. All right, so I planned on leaving my campsite by 7.30. I did not do that. It is 8. <laughs> it's okay. I uh, think there's a spot to get water up about two miles. In. I got to go three quarters of a mile back to the trail that goes around the lake that I'm backpacking on. And then there is a about a mile to where I get water. Probably eat breakfast there too. I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so.
somebody's had a really bad day here. Dropped all the Cheetos. It's very sad. Sorry about that. Wish I could help. All right, so it is exactly 8.57. <laughs> and I was gonna stop for breakfast around nine. And look what I came across. Only bad thing is, it's trash. Come on, people. All right, just finished breakfast. Spent probably a little longer than I should have, but that's okay. Got some coffee in me, some oatmeal. I was gonna take a nice video of the lake for you guys, but right as I was sitting down, some fishing boats came up. Oh well, maybe tomorrow morning. Anyway, I got probably four-ish miles to the main campground for the park. So I'll probably eat lunch there. We'll see. We'll see what time it is when I get there. Took my jacket off. I'm still wearing my pants. But it's probably high 50s, low 60s right now. It's a perfect hiking weather. Trail's the same as it was yesterday. Pretty uh, narrow. Oh shit. Pretty narrow, but pretty well maintained. A lot of leaves, so it's kind of hard to see some of the bigger roots. Not too bad. Pretty flat. First bridge of the day, guys. No trolls. All right, so I started out up there. Burt Oak Cove Campground. And I am now right on the other side of Dock 4. It's right over there. So I'm making pretty good time so far today. But definitely gonna keep going. I got a long way to go. I'm camping at, where is it? Dock 3. So I'm going to go all the way up, around the lake, come back, camp around there. Long day. So that is Dock 4. Alright guys, so I'm leaving Dock 4 and 
as it turns out, I was able to use a flushing toilet. Very pleasant surprise, that building right back there behind the tree. A toilet. All right, so if I'm judging correctly, I am right next to the main campground. Um, there's a big old parking lot. See, grills, picnic tables, which means I was gonna stop here for lunch, but it's not even 11 o'clock yet. So I'm gonna keep going, and I'll find somewhere else to eat lunch. So I'm not sure how much that last video kept, because my battery died. Anyway, I stopped at this picnic table to change it out, and imagine my surprise when I look over. More water. I'll be gosh darned. This place is so domestic. So I'm going to top off. So, the water was turned off at the fountain, which is reasonable. Um, my stupid self chugged my coffee so I could have a free bottle to fill it up. So it might be an interesting afternoon. All right, so I am here at M. I was following that road for a little while and I almost lost the trail. There's a little sign right there. It says you can't trail one mile and that leads here. So I have to go up and around. All this is left to do today. Shouldn't be too bad. But, definitely gonna keep moving. So when I say that parts of this trail are hard to follow a little bit, the trail goes somewhere over there. And you can see, a lot of blazes. But, thank goodness there is, because if there wasn't, I don't know where I'd go. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but that is one of the largest trees I've ever seen. There's a couple of them. That one there. It's all the way up. Alright, so I am now here. And this morning I started way back over here somewhere all the way up and around back down to duck three all right i feel like i'm in scooby-doo here Got a sign. I don't know if you can read that. It says red. That way. Over there. A yellow. Saying both directions. And this guy. Got an arrow pointing left and right. And he went that way. some horsies. Bye horsies. It's a quick update. I'm at this, whatever this nonsense is, three trails. I don't know what, what the red trail is. I'm not going to follow it. But I also decided while I'm here I'm going to eat lunch. So. And I saw some horses, so that was cool. Alright guys, here's the plan. So I don't know if you can see that at all. I'm there, which is roughly there on my map. I came from here this morning. And I am camping here. So it is just after 12 o'clock. And I have right about five miles left to hike. So what I'm going to do is, I had lunch, but what I'm going to do is... I didn't eat that much last night. 
So I'm gonna go two or three more miles, maybe back here, around here somewhere. And I'll probably have a second lunch because I'm gonna get to camp pretty early. So I'm gonna be laying around camp for a while, which is not a bad thing, but that's my plan. Horse trail. Horse trail. I don't know what that thing is, but it is giant. Wow. Wish I brought my Pokeballs. Could have caught that thing. I don't know what it was. All right, so I think right about now, I'm somewhere near the tip of the uh, reservoir. It's warmed up a little bit. It's probably around 70 right now. But it's still perfect temperature. A slight breeze, and I'm still on a horse trail, so there's manure everywhere. And more holes. There. Oh, oh, where's my, there it is, there. This area. <laughs> Hi, Shadow. There it is. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So I made it across the sketchy bridge. And right here, looks like a little campground. Fire pit. I can't see it. So I might actually eat my second lunch here. Alright, guys, so I am enjoying afternoon snack here. Decided I wanted some pasta. I got some cooling off right there. Excited. Looking at the map, I am right up here. And I started out there. So I hiked about nine miles so far today, which is pretty good. I have another three, maybe three and a half to the group camp here. So I'm gonna try to find a spot. So the last several trips, I have um, gotten these nor pasta sides or rice sides. And usually I just get like chicken or chicken and broccoli, but I was at the store this weekend. And look what I found. Teriyaki noodles. And uh, let me tell you, this guy was scrumptious. I'll be getting him again. And now I think I might fall asleep. All right, so that is an I there, which means I am here. I knew basically from when I looked at my map before. And it says I have 2.2 miles to dock 3, and that is where I'm going to try to camp. So, should be there in the next hour. So, the trail came onto this road here, and on my map, it says this road is. Southeast County Road Southwest or something along those lines. So I don't know what direction this road thinks it's going. But I do know. Wish I had my sunglasses right now. Before you ask me, why don't I just flip my hat around? 
Well, problem is, it doesn't look as cool. So, keep quiet. So I'm at this little overlook here. It's pretty, pretty nice. There's flowers back here. Now earlier today, when I came across that little campsite, I saw the two chip bags, and I put them in my trash bag. But I don't think I have a big enough trash bag for all of this. really unfortunate. from dock three. All right guys, I am back on the trail. This is day two and a half slash three. Um, so last night I got to camp, or sorry, dock three where I ran a line, there's a walk up group camp. Basically just a large field that you can just camp anywhere you want. And um, I got here and they said, because of COVID, that it was closed. Um, so I ended up reserving a spot right at the dock. There was only six of them. When I pulled up to mine, there was actually a van already parked there, but it was for the group next to me that had three families and about a million little kids. So, set up my camp and the couple on the other side of me um, invited me over to their campfire, which was pretty cool. Um, as it turns out, she was a backpacker. They were car camping, but she was a backpacker and he was a videographer. So he was showing me stuff that I had no idea how to do on my camera, which there's a lot of stuff I have no idea how to do on my camera, but we ended up getting some pretty cool shots of the stars in the Milky Way. And then, uh, basically doing that all night. I didn't take any videos just cause there's kids running around and I didn't wanna, I don't really wanna get into that. So anyway, back on the trail. All right guys, well I'm officially back in civilization. Thanks for joining me. Hope you had fun. Thanks for watching, see you next time.